Hello, and welcome to the Cinema 4D Introduction Movies. In this video, we're going to show you the interface of Cinema 4D and how to navigate in the viewport. First of all, this big screen here is the viewport. It displays all the objects you've created in your scene. On top and to the right, there are four icons. If you click on the right one that looks like a square, you can change the display from one viewport to four. You can click on any one of those square icons to expand the selected view back to one. In Cinema 4D, you've got many ways to navigate. One of the ways is to use the three other icons here. If you click and drag the first icon, you can pan the camera. If you use the second icon, you can move the camera in and out. The third one rotates your camera. You can also use the Alt key in combination with the left, middle, and right mouse button. Let's take a look at the whole interface of Cinema 4D. On top, you can find the icon palette with different colors. Tools and functions are displayed in warm colors like orange and yellow. And objects have cold colors like blue and green. You can find icons to move, scale, and rotate your objects, and also icons to render your scene, and the command group icons. A command group icon is recognized by the little black arrow at the bottom right side. Just click and drag to choose between the different objects. On the right side, you'll find the Objects Manager. This is the main tool for your scene management. It holds all the objects you've created in your scene. Below the Objects Manager, you'll find the Attributes Manager. This manager displays all the information about objects and tools. Whenever you want to change a value or a setting, you will need to use the Attributes Manager. Next to that is the Coordinates Manager. If you want to see the position, size, or rotation of an object, or if you want to change one of them, you will find that here. To the left of that is the Materials Manager. It contains all your materials, and you can create materials or shaders here. On the left side, you can switch between points and polygon mode. There's also an icon to change your layout. There are some presets here for you as well. This is the standard layout, but you can change this to, for example, the animation layout. If you'd like to learn more about Cinema 4D, just click on the next video.